And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris Mitchell here bringing you some cryptocurrency news. And the first thing up today, as of yesterday. I also want to draw our attention to micro strategies. Micro, Michael Saylor is stepping down from his role as CEO, will shift to an executive chairman role. Now, uh, Feng Li, who previously served as the company's president, CFO, and COO, is going to become the new CEO. Saylor, who was behind micro strategies amassing of billions in Bitcoin, will still serve as chairman of the board in addition to his new role. So, um, guess what? Michael Saylor stepping down as CEO. Um, you know, chairman of the board is pretty uh, high up there, so I don't know how much he actually uh, stepped down. But um, after their stock plummeted and his $3 billion worth of Bitcoin that turned into $7 billion, which is now at a loss from what he paid, um, I imagine the pressures on Mr. Saylor have been extremely heavy. I mean, talking about carrying the weight of the world, the weight of the Bitcoin, you know, we know him as Bitcoin Jesus and, um, I love the guy. Um, but in a statement, MicroStrategy said Saylor will focus primarily on quote innovation and long-term corporate strategy while continuing to provide oversight of the company's Bitcoin acquisition strategy as the executive chairman, he said, quote, as the executive chairman, I'll be able to focus more on our Bitcoin acquisition strategy and related Bitcoin advocacy initiatives. While Fong will be empowered as CEO to manage overall corporate operations. So at the end of Q2, the carrying value of MicroStrategy digital assets comprised of approximately 130,000 Bitcoins and was one point. 98 billion, uh, which reflects cumulative impairment losses of 1.9 billion since acquisition and average carrying amount per Bitcoin, approximately 15,326, the company said in a statement. So the original cost basis and market value of MicroStrategy's Bitcoin were 3.97 billion and 2.41 billion respectively reflects an average cost per Bitcoin of 30,664 and a market price per Bitcoin of 18, uh, 895 respectively. So while not reflective of the current value of the company's Bitcoin investment, the impairment offers the latest evidence for how rough the crypto market has been for the biggest, largest known corporate holder of Bitcoin and wow, yeah, I mean, talk about taking it on the chin. You can see that guy's face was just kind of melting down a bit under. I, I couldn't imagine the pressure. My hat's off to him. Michael Saylor, you're the man. I love you. Um, however, I wish I could have been working for you. Maybe, you know, taking some profits, uh, maybe uh, taking some moves to the downside. That being said, next piece of news, uh, MetaMask snaps could change the face of Web3 given dApps access to Bitcoin notifications and more. Yes, they interviewed this guy. Um, so Crypto Slate's Akiba sat down with Hassan Malik, senior software engineer for MetaMask snaps in his first ever interview on camera during ETHCC week in Paris. This exclusive interview explains some of the features that will be available in MetaMask Snap. So, quote, Snaps is a system that allows anybody to safely expand the capabilities of MetaMask. A Snap is a program that we run in an isolated environment that can customize the wallet experience. So, essentially, what are they saying? Hey, MetaMask is going to allow dApps to connect to Bitcoin, Solana, and Filecoin. And that's a step in the right direction for MetaMask as I believe most of their, um, you know, basically if it wasn't an Ethereum-based contract, you couldn't put it on MetaMask. But um, I believe they are adding quite a few of these other coins as well. So that's cool. All right. 
Next up, Ethereum creator Vitalik Buterin predicts Facebook will attempt to build the metaverse or their attempt to build the metaverse will fail. Um, he said, quote, to his 4.1 million Twitter followers, quote, the metaverse is going to happen, but I don't think any of the existing corporate attempts to intentionally create the metaverse are going anywhere. He said, quote, my critique is deeper than Metaverse Wikipedia will beat Metaverse Encyclopedia Britannica. It's that we don't really know the defin definition of the metaverse yet. It's far too early to know what people actually want. So anything Facebook creates now will misfire. Guy's pretty young, pretty, uh, pretty young and wise. Um, a little too young. I don't know if I trust everything out of uh, Mr. Buterall's mouth there, but um, I would agree with Facebook failing on their face at some point and then picking themselves back up, you know, the behemoth. Uh, you know, Zuckerberg's been a visionary for a long time, and I imagine if he wants the metaverse to happen uh, at Facebook, it's going to happen. So uh, what else is next? Oh, yes. New York financial regulators fine Robinhood's crypto division $30 million. Quote, as its business grew, Robinhood crypto failed to invest the proper resources and attention to develop, to develop and maintain a culture of compliance, said Superintendent Adrian Harris. So the New York Department of Financial Services has announced a $30 million penalty on Robin Hood's cryptocurrency arm for alleged violations related to anti-money laundering, cybersecurity, and consumer protection laws. So, yep, a little slap on the wrist to Robin Hood. I mean, not only that, their stock got slapped pretty hard as well. Um, but I believe... It's just a slap on the wrist. If they can survive this crypto winter and make it out on the other side, you know, opening any kind of crypto business in New York is like asking for failure to happen. I don't know why anybody would want to do any business in New York or uh, California for that matter. This liberal Democrat state, they're running the country right into the ground. Yep. Uh, that, that'll let you know my opinion. Um, Thirdly, Kim Kardashian, gosh, I don't even want to report on this. Kim Kardashian's legal team files a motion to dismiss, to dismiss, <laughs> dismiss Ethereum Max crypto lawsuit. The lawyers filed a joint motion to dismiss the class action complaint against the American businesswoman for promoting an alleged pump and dump crypto token. Yes, I heard of another one. I was getting my Tesla serviced and... Uh, apparently Paul Pierce got everybody in on his little crypto pumpy coin and he dumped it on all their faces. And, um, yeah, it was pretty clear as he was the largest wallet holder to dump it all on the, um, on their faces. So Kim Kardashian posted on this Instagram story promoting the project in June, 2021, with the likes of boxing great Floyd Mayweather, uh, also embroiled in a lawsuit after promoting Ethereum-based token in a build-up to celebrity boxing bout against YouTuber Logan Paul during the same period. Fans could purchase pay-per-view tickets with the token, which surged after promotion by Miss Kardashian. Uh, the value of Ethereum Max dropped significantly afterward, leaving many out of pocket. So hence the pump and dump. Uh, don't want to be a part of those. And lastly, I think this was kind of interesting. BitPay adds Ape and Euro C support. Uh, or Euroc support. Luxury retail giant Gucci accepts Ape coin payments. And you know what they were, I was just reading something about Poor people will spend their last dime to get a Gucci purse and rich people like to walk around in their sweatpants and their target jeans and they don't really care what other people think. I've never bought a Gucci, I'll tell you that much. But um, yeah, BitPay uh, has added two new crypto assets to the company's payment, payment platform. Um, Processor already accepting digital currencies like Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, XRP, Doggy Coin, Shiba Inu Coin, and Litecoin. I wonder how much you got to pay 
to get on that BitPay platform. It's probably going to be a fat, fat fee. Alongside those coins, BitPay supports a few stablecoin assets as well, like Circles USDC. Uh, this week, BitPay expanded the platform's options to ApeCoin and EuroCoin. If you don't know what ApeCoin is, it is the Board Ape Yacht Club's native token, which uh, supposedly there is a fixed supply of these babies. And I'm just going to give you a little screenshot of what ApeCoin is. I mean, could Gucci get in trouble for this one? We are getting the silver cross on the daily. Uh, could give you a shot to the top side of the range at about nine bucks. But um, just imagine if you were promoting ApeCoin right here when it was $24 and now we're at $7. How many people took that one on the chin? I don't know. But that's why I say, hey, don't invest more than you can afford to root. <laughs> to lose completely in cryptocurrency land. Again, it's just magic internet money. That's it for the crypto news for today, guys. Hope you have a blessed day. Take care.